Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best Yugi tuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, this is Joe here from Rufio, a slightly different setting. So if this is not your first time here, you will recognize that this isn't normally where I record. A little bit of a scenario going on, my wife is doing some bits downstairs, so today I'm doing it in my bedroom, which isn't the most comfortable place to do these videos, so you won't be seeing me throughout the video, much to your dismay or pleasure, depending on how you feel about things. But if it is your first time here, usually we have a slightly better backdrop, slightly better lighting, because this is right under a fucking lamp, and uh, we normally have a pug dying in the background because you can't breathe properly, so if that's the sort of thing you're into, you should definitely hit subscribe now so you don't miss out on future. If this is not your first time here, I do wonder why you're back. We make fucking garbage content, but since you're here, you might as well stay along for the ride. Today, we are looking at another UK Euro market watch. Things have changed up a little bit since Toon Chaos was revealed. I did do a reveal on that. Cheeky pun there if you want to go check that out. Uh, and there's plenty of other product floating around. We're getting some more announcements. We've seen a little bit about collector's rares, which may shake up the market along the way. So expect things to be chopped up and different. But we'll get stuck right in for you now. So let me first apologise before we get started. I have the noisiest people in my house today. They've decided to sit downstairs shouting, as explained at the beginning of the video. Hence, the slightly weird setup. But enough of that nonsense. Let's take a look at the market. What's your, what you're really here for. So we're taking a look here at Access Code Talker. Of course, our standard here is a minimum of good condition uh, and in English. That's the kind of thing that we're going for across the board. So we're going to take a look at the price shift there. So the overall trend, if you continue to look at this graph, is that it's on its way up. Now, its actual price trend listing versus the price you can get it from are slightly lower. I do think that this is one of these cards that is unlikely to go much lower than it is now. If anything, it's more likely to sneak back up. This is a really, really important must-have card for your extra deck, and I would absolutely recommend you pick up a copy, even at this price, before it inevitably goes up. We saw it at Boral Sword, we saw it with Appaloosa, it's a must-own card. Next up, I wanted to take a look at a little bit of what's happened in the market as a result of Toon Chaos. So, we now know that we've got collector rares, they have been leaked all over the place. It's not a surprise if you're on Facebook, you will have seen them already. So, I wanted to take a look at some of the other prints of cards that are included in this set, or ones that we thought may have been included in the set and were omitted, and just see how that's affected the price overall. We start off with Pot of Extravagance. I'm looking at the secret rare here. 44 euros a uh, pop is not the worst in the world i don't think it's going to go much more down than it is now even with the collector rares out i think that this is going to be one of the the better prints to go for obviously you're going to have that class of people who go just for collectors uh and you know the types i'm sure we all know them um but depending on the rarity this may still continue to be seen as the bigger and better rarity it's unlikely but it's a possibility so 44 euros again don't expect this to go down much more Next, we'll take a look at Ulti Pot of Desires. This is going to arguably still be the highest rarity. I would hazard a guess that people would prefer to have this over the Collector's Rare, so I don't think it's going to affect the price as much. And as you can see, they've continued to stay stable. Anywhere between 70 and 80 euros is about the standard going rate. Of course, you always have some that are a little bit over. Um, OTS Ultis always, always hold a really, really good value. Even the bad ones continue to hold some value and will usually go up over time. Next, as requested, we're taking a look at Borrowed Savage Dragon, which takes us nicely because we've just looked at Extravagance, which of course was printed in Savage Strike, the elusive Savage Strike that hasn't had half of its cards reprinted just yet. So we're taking a look at Borrowed Savage, which has been all over the place. We did see it come down, probably people anticipating that we get some sort of announced reprint recently. However, it has started to creep back up. This has become a staple in pretty much every single extra deck that can do any kind of synchro spam. It becomes a massive beta, a massive negation machine a really 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 important card in the modern game i do think that we are going to see this reprinted in the tins if not we will see it in battles of legend i'm almost certain between the two uh, but don't be surprised if we start to see this come back down it may be worth holding out on these if you're a seller though now is probably your chance to get quids in on it 
Next, we're taking a look at Black Lost the Soldier. Of course, we've seen those collector's rares come out again. People really, really want this secret rare. This is like considered one of the better rarities to own. Uh, in good condition, you can get them anywhere from $24.98. 40 euros for something in near mint as a minimum. Uh, not really surprising. This is pretty much considered the pinnacle of prints for Black Luster Soldier that you can actually get your hands on. We do, however, have a different rarity to look at as well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and look at the Invasion of Chaos version. Some people prefer this because it's the original. So again, it holds good value for that reason as well. Uh, again, you can get them from 15 euros if you don't mind them in just good condition. Near mint, a minimum of 20. Uh, and then they start going up towards the 25 mark. A little bit cheaper than the secret rare printing if you prefer the original over the secret. And speaking of Black Lost Soldier, we have Soldier of Chaos. People anticipated again that this might get a reprint in the last set in this Toon Chaos that's about to come out, and it hasn't happened. Don't be surprised if this spikes a little beforehand, but I can actually see this coming down over the next month or so, uh, with anticipation again for the tins or for Battles of Legend, which may tank the prices. I do expect that this will be another card that does get a reprint relatively soon uh, so don't be shocked if that happens this is however again another card that is really important to have i believe in your binder because there's certain formats where this is absolutely insane Next, we're looking at another card that's continued to move over the last few weeks. Garden Rose Maiden, unsurprisingly, has stayed up there. It's a big combo starter, big combo, well, combo piece, I should say, uh, that a lot of people have been looking at and trying to abuse and make use of. I do think that we'll continue to see this kind of being tweaked with. It's a plant, it's a synchro, that's always a really good combination that people look for, for obvious reasons. So, unsurprisingly, this is still sat around the 9 to 11 euro mark, depending on the condition. Um unsurprising that it stayed up there and I don't see it coming down anytime soon. Next we have Heritage of the Chalice. I wanted to take a look at this Keeping in mind that we've got some Infernoble stuff coming out in this uh, in this Toon Chaos set, it's worth noting that this is one of the few cards that will definitely be getting used, even in the full version of the deck. And again, a quick chance in there to advertise to you. I do have a couple of Infernoble videos coming up with Aaron Ray, if you know who he is. If you're UK Euro-based, you probably will. Uh, and he's doing a bit of a talk through with the deck. But I digress. Heritage of the Ch uh, Chalice has continued to scoop up just a little bit. I do think that this will continue to go up, considering the print is super super nice uh, those weird sort of prismatic rares that we got from tins and i do have a few more of those to look at in this market watch unsurprisingly though continuing to creep up don't be surprised if this heads up towards the five euro mark over the coming weeks Speaking of Infernoble Knights, we're looking at Smoke Grenade of the Thief. This is one of the dirty, dirty, not once per turn cards that were printed long ago that nobody played for forever. And now suddenly we find out how to hand loot people because we're degenerate motherfuckers. So unsurprisingly, we're seeing again the price on this continue to rise. Over 10 euros now, it has been creeping up over time. As you can see, that overall trajectory heading towards the 15 mark. For something near mint, that is what you're going to pay at a minimum if you want something in good condition, anywhere from 10 euros and up. And we are going to go ahead and take a look at the other print of this card now. So next up, we're looking at the Dark Beginnings version. This, for some weird reason, seems to hold a little bit better value. Uh, it's a common, but it's one of those ones where this set kind of was a weird printing ratio. It's actually really, really hard to get hold of Dark Beginning cards uh, in, in good condition. And I think that that's why we see it in the price. Despite being a reprint set, that is what we're looking at. So a minimum of €12 Euros for something in near mint. Uh, anywhere up to 25 depending on where you would like to buy from. Again, the overall trajectory heading up, probably going to see this at a minimum of 15 before long. Next, let's take a look at some of the knee-jerk reaction from the ban list. Of course, we just saw three cards unlimited and that was it. That's another debate for another day as to whether that was a good idea or not. Personally, I'm uh, I'm not too miffed off by it, despite how other people feel. But anyway, once again, going off track a little bit. Oh, guys, Multifaker, cheap as chips. Something to potentially consider picking up because if the deck does well, we could see the price spike up not long before the tins are out. These are about £8 each or, I don't know, 9 to €10, Euros, I guess. Um... So, unsurprisingly, uh, I would recommend picking these up, potentially. There is also, of course, the tinned version, which you can take a look at as well, which is very, very marginally more. But again, they're both around the €2 Euro mark at most for something in English. You could potentially pay half of that if you buy from the right seller. 
Speaking of the tins, I wanted to take a quick look at this because Salomon Great has seen an improvement in the amount that's being played realistically. Uh, we're seeing these as cheap as 30 cents. I actually think this is not a bad pickup for this price. This is the max rarity of this card. And despite that, it's cheaper than you can get a common for on eBay. Not a bad purchase in my opinion. Next up, we're looking at Ritual Beast Ulti Canahawk. I was very, very fortunate to find a few of these in my binder. On eBay, these are a minimum of £6. Again, probably towards the €7 Euro mark, uh, maybe even $8 or so uh, at minimum, if you're translating the values, that is. However, you can get them on card market for around €2 Euros a pop. Again, expect these to get bought out at this lower end um, and probably head up towards the €5 Euro mark at a minimum. People are going to experiment with this. Uh, people are going to do all kinds of ass hattery. You're going to get some idiot that wants to turn up at a uh, regional or so and probably just wants to waste an entire game. We all know who you are. <laughs> You're usually pretty open and vocal about it. And uh, I'm sure we're going to see plenty of them. And with that, that is going to drive the price up. Of course, hype will always do that anyway. Speaking of changes on the list, I wanted to take a look at a couple of Necros cards in there. Better rarities, let's say. Uh, so you can get secret rare versions of Necros of Unicor anywhere from a Euro up. Again, expect these to get bought out at this bottom end because they're going to be super easy trade bait, super easy sell bait. Uh, I expect this to shoot up significantly. We've got Necros of Brianak, unsurprisingly a 30 Euro card and creeping up very slightly. There are going to be people who want to pick up the maximum rarity of this deck. It's always had a bit of a cult status. Even with the reprints out, these maintained a really, really solid value. So again, don't be surprised to see this creep up. 30 euros for something in good condition, a minimum of 50 for near mint. And again, some more knee-jerk reaction. Linkross did not get banned, despite some of the thoughts that this may happen, along with some other cards we'll take a look at. Uh, this didn't get hit on the list, and, and again, this is going back up towards the 15 euro mark. I had predicted a few weeks ago that if this didn't get hit, we would see it creep back up, and I did think it wouldn't get hit. Uh, because I think it's just far too early. We'll probably see it happen in September. Although it is worth noting that the OCG have hit it there. So that pretty much is usually a good sign that we're going to see a similar change here. However, minimum of 15 euros. Expect this to creep back up towards the 20 mark soon. And just like that, we go on to another degenerate bullshit card, Christron Halka Fibrax. We're seeing it at €21 Euros at minimum. Again, seeing this price creep up, people thought it might get hit. Not today, my friends. They still need to sell this product, and unsurprisingly, they haven't hit it. It would also be wrong to hit it anyway, because we don't really have a physical format to play in, and online tournaments don't actually count, despite what people like to think. So €21 Euros is the minimum. Again, expect to see this head up back towards the 25 mark, when people realise that they will be playing with this until September, and they will be playing with this alongside Dragoon. This is a request that came in Adamantipate, a researcher. If you look at the flow of the uh, price trend here, this is unsurprising. People thought Block Dragon was for sure going to get hit, which would take a massive, massive power curve off the top of this deck. It would still be really solid. It is worth noting that this is definitely the best combo deck in the format at the moment. Maybe you could argue uh, Synchro Eldlich, but Synchro in everything is pretty much the flavor of the week. Um... And what we're seeing is a reaction to the fact that Block Dragon didn't go because people who had previously thought that the deck was going to get abandoned have jumped back on. And as a result, we've seen the prices go down as low as 37 and now they're creeping all the way back up to 4540 for the cheapest near mint. But of course, depending on where you want to order it from, but you're probably looking towards the 45, potentially even 50 mark in the coming weeks. And speaking of best decks of the format, Outlitch the Golden Lord, still a minimum of 94 euros in English. This is absolutely wild to me. I don't know that we'll see this come down. It is worth noting that this is from a side set. So, of course, side sets are not held in by that promise of non-short printing going forward. So that's probably why we're seeing this change in price, because it is so hard to pick up. Uh, it's, again, arguably the best deck of the format, along with Adamantopeia. And it's also the least likely of the two to get hit which means it's probably got the most longevity. Probably one of the better investments, considering everything else is pretty cheap in the deck. Uh, one to consider picking up if you want a deck that you can play for the next few months. And then for another Fallen Hero, minimum of 50 euros on Magician Souls. That actually doesn't seem that bad. Uh, 51, 52 again is around the sort of price range you're looking at. Not really too bad. Will the reprint affect it? It's not really... For sure, whether we can say how much of a difference it'll make. I do think, though, that this is one of these cards that's likely to get more and more reprints over time. This is bound to end up in a structure deck in the next year. It wouldn't shock me at all. Um, 
So again, expect that this price may come down uh, before it goes back up. We're looking at one of these cards that's absolutely jumped through the roof and you can see that on here. It was fuck all, literally nothing. It was a one euro card only two weeks ago and now we're seeing them up a minimum of 15 to 20 euros for the dual terminal version Vylon sphere uh, it's a machine it's a tuner it's level one it's got many great things going for it and of course we can take a look at one of the other prints and see how that's doing so if you want to go ahead and go over here for our super rare printing you're looking at a minimum of six euros and 50 anywhere up to 10 euros our penultimate card for today is Doomdozer Ultimate Rare, as requested by Rob the fucking idiot who requested Doom Shaman. This time he's requesting Doomdozer. At least this time it's a card that was at some point somewhat relevant. Uh, and we are looking for a near mint, a minimum of 12 euros. Minimum of 9 if you want something in just good condition. And our final card today, again, the last request of the day, Appaloosa, the price is coming down on this, but it is still a solid €65 Euro card. Unsurprising, this is again one of these cards that you must have available to you in your binder if you want to attend events. This is probably something that you need in your repertoire to be able to play at that kind of level. It is worth noting that, again, people are anticipating that we might see this in some sort of reprint soon, which wouldn't be all that shocking, but again, a really, really solid card that you must own. And in fact, the fact that the price is going down, this is probably not a bad time for you to start thinking about picking one up. If we do see it reprinted, it's unlikely that it'll be in anywhere near as good a rarity as this. We're probably likely to see it as some sort of weird ultra print, which will be worth absolutely nothing. It will tank the prices on these, but people will still want the originals, and you don't want to be caught off guard when you can't pick these things up anymore. So that is it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. In future, if there's anything that you want to see covered on Market Watch, you can easily reach out to me either on the channel, down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up so I know that I'm doing a good job. But find me on social media. I'm easy enough to find, usually on Facebook, trolling around, just being that guy out and about there. So if you do want to get hold of me, nice and easy to get hold of. Always shoot me a message, not a problem at all. Just don't be a fucking weirdo and we'll be fine. But thank you again for making it this far. If you have, that's absolutely crazy. There's something wrong with you, but we won't go there. But thanks again for checking in. Uh, if there are any other kind of content that you want to see me do, this isn't the only thing that I'm into. I'm doing lots of deck profiles, crash courses, combo tutorials, sometimes live matches, although those are a little bit hard at the moment, as I'm sure you can understand. Um, but we do plenty of content, so if there's anything you want to see in that respect as well, definitely shoot me a message. I'm always open to new ideas. Thanks again for checking in. If you haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content I put together for you. Enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment. Before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in and I'll see you in the next one.